Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Today we're going to look at Q1 Ripple quarterly reports with XRP market. And no, XRP is still not even close to sold out, but it has made some crop progress since Q4. I have to remind you that between Q3 and Q4, there was actually like reverse progress. So a lot of Q1, I think, has just kind of flipped uh, going back onto the progress route of Q4. They have sold more uh, XRP in terms of institutional and pro programmatic, but we can see that they're still under 25% of total XRP being sold. And we actually don't know how much they sold versus how much um, they actually gave away to just boost up their ecosystem. But if you look at it, the institutional direct sales of XRP in Q1 of 2019 um, was $61.93 million program, programmatic sales were $107.49 million. And that is up from $40.15 million uh, for institutional sales from Q4 2018 and up from $88.88 million in um, programmatic sales from Q4 2018. The total sales were $169.42 million in Q1 2019, and that's an increase from $129.03 million in Q4 2018. Remember, the average cost of XRP for Q1 2019 is below uh, Q4 2018. So overall, they definitely increased by a significant amount in the number of XRP sold. So if you take $169 million.42 divided by the average price of XRP over Q1 2019, which is probably around 33 cents, you get about $513 million. I think the average price for XRP over Q1 is slightly under 33. So it's probably more like they sold like 550 million XRP out of the 3 billion that were available if you actually go by the market price. However, if you actually take a look at what they actually reported, um, 3 billion XRP were released out of cryptographic escrow and 2.3 billion were returned to escrow. What that means is 700 million were actually sold and or given out. So if all 700 million were actually sold, instead of like some, I'm sure some were actually given out. So this calculation is not gonna be right. So you have 700 million, uh, you sold $169.42 million and you sold 700 million XRP. If the, all those were sold, they sold at an average of 24.2 cents, which means the OTC sales were significantly, about 20 to 30, 25% below the market sales. And if they actually did that, then yes, XRP investors do have a reason to be pissed because the big institutions were able to buy 25% under the market price of XRP of everyone, uh, of whatever, whatever else everyone was buying. And that generally indicates that um, what this number really indicates is that I don't, XRP is still nowhere close to being sold out. The supply is still definitely greater than the demand. So I don't really see a giant jump in Q2 anytime soon. And I think that's further affirmed by David Schwartz actually selling off 2.8 million XRP. You can't really tell much from, Dave, uh, from that. Um, besides that, Schwartz doesn't think it's going to go to $10 in like the next month or two because he wouldn't have sold 2.8 million if he knew it was going to go to $10 in the next month or two. He doesn't think it's going to skyrocket, so he sold a stash of XRP. The quarterly report with the numbers actually reaffirms that. Um, only 700 million out of 3 billion were actually sold and or given away. I'm going to guess some of it's given away. And the actual OTC market price is actually pretty close to market price and not 24 cents as opposed to the market price of 31 or 32 cents. Uh, but what it really does, what it means is like, I don't think XRP is really that close to uh, being, uh, to really breaking out anytime soon. I know a lot of people are looking at May because the whole bearable guy sun thing. I personally don't believe in that. I don't actually think anything's going to happen in May. Uh, yes, there is the SEC decision day, but the SEC is also having a forum on May 31st. Um, and I don't think they're actually going to pass up, uh, allow an ETF before that specific date. So I think it's the ETF news, is, which affects all of crypto, is going to kick, get kicked down the road probably to July. And it might get kicked down to October where they actually have to make a decision. Um, so according to the XRP numbers and sales in their actual report, I don't think XRP is heading for a breakout in the next month or two. Uh, the quarterly sales have definitely improved from Q4 2018. But they actually, but if all 700 million were actually sold, they're selling at significantly under market price. 
So that actually means um, if people are actually buying at from the escrow at the 24 cent marker and then selling uh, on the market at the 32 cent marker to make that kind of 30% profit, that could actually pull price down. Um, so I don't know if price will drop or not because escrow, uh, usually OTC is slightly under, mar OTC is buying large amounts and that's slightly under the general market price. But that like a discrepancy of like 30% would I think would be too much. But overall, the total sales have improved over Q4 2018, but not to the point where XRP is anywhere close to sold out. And right now, for right now, in the foreseeable future, uh, supply is still greater than demand, which means that although XRP um, by FOMO or something might uh, go up with the market, and hopefully it does, the there won't be a squeeze in supply due to demand that would really skyrocket the coin. So I don't see any kind of skyrocketing prices any time in q2 unless somehow magically that etf passes but i don't think that's going to happen in may because the 31st of may is their economic forum uh, it's sec's internal economic forum and i think they're going to probably make a decision uh, after the end of may so the we just went over the sales and the escrow activity in terms of development they we have seen significant developments from like x spring especially xrp labs with retwin he's been doing some amazing stuff Forte with games, um, but these are generally like still in their infant stages and they they probably won't impact the ecosystem to a large degree for at least a few quarters. So if you're looking to XRP Labs, Kava, Forte, you know, X, especially XRP Labs with a banking license, that's probably not really going to take effect until like next year or something. So in the next couple of months, month or two, I don't really see XRP. I mean, I might be wrong, of course, but um, I don't really see XRP skyrocketing anytime soon. But it still looks pretty good as an investment for the future. You're just going to have to hang on to it for a couple of years. Um, in terms of XRP performance compared to other coins in Q1, it sucked basically. But I'm pretty sure everyone who actually follows XRP has known that. But they have added several partners, um, and including one or two, including a couple that have said they're actually going to use XRP and not just RippleNet. Those are EuroX and Banks, SendFriend, JFNX, uh, and MercuryFX. And they've also made improvements on middle uh, in RippleNet in the Middle East and other countries. So that's good for the overall. Um, that's good for the overall report for Ripple. But overall, um, Ripple has made some like inroads to different corridors. But the use of the use of XRP has seen an uptick for Mercury FX and hopefully JNFX. Uh, you know, Catalyst Corporate and a couple of the others that said um, they're going to use XRP. but oh, And the institutional and programmatic sales have actually increased from Q2 2018, but they haven't increased significantly enough to where it would actually impact the price of XRP. And by the calculations, it does seem that XRP could be selling their escrow for significantly less than the market price. So that is something to keep in mind. Um, if you're gonna, if you want to make it rich off XRP, you might do it, but you're gonna have to hold on to it for much more than you know one or two months more. Probably, I would say at least you know half a year, probably several years more before you see like ginormous returns from XRP. So that is the report for today. Check out my Twitter; it's in the description. Also, please check out my social media um, and retweet uh, this content if you like my content. Thank you, and have a nice day.